As far as family-friendly destinations go, you can't beat the Gold Coast, especially during school holidays. Locals like Hayden Wild and his daughter Jacinta know exactly what I'm talking about. They love to get out on the water and Hayden knows a couple of great fishing spots. We've travelled a couple of nautical miles just out from the seaway. Now this whole area is full of small pinnacles and shale patches and they hold squire, sweet lip and snapper. Now the key, using a nice light ball sinker on top of a 4 o hook and let it slowly waft down with a little piece of pilchard. I've just got to make sure Jacinta doesn't outfish me today. You won't, will you, darling? Hayden runs local dealership Wild About Boats and his vessel of choice is the Seafarer Victory and he's got a good reason why. It's just a good size all round boat. It can be used for all sorts of different things, not just blue water fishing. So how do you, you get out a fair bit in the boat yourself? Yes I do mate, yeah I try and, on my days off, try and get out in the boat, and do the family thing with Jacinta and get her out, do a bit of skiing and a bit of fishing. It's a way of entertaining the family, it's just excellent to get out in the boat and, and get away from everything. Hayden will tell you that the folks at Seafarer have been building first-class boats for over 50 years. And they were recently acquired by the Haynes Group. Now, if that's not a powerhouse combination, I don't know what is. And better yet, they're both Aussie. Unfortunately, not too much happening offshore today, but Hayden knows a great little spot on the broadwater, the north side of Wavebreak Island. Here we go, yes! Got him on, Jacinta. He's a good size one, this yeah, one. Yeah, that was a little bit of bait you cut, mate. And he's a bit better broom, he's definitely legal. Look at that. Oh, we won't keep him, he's a beauty. He's probably just over the legal size of 23 centimetres. So it's great fun for the whole family. Sit here, kids cut up the bait for you. Fish virtually straight off the edge. And there's brim, whiting, butter brim, plenty of fish to be had. It's a really good day out on the water. Throw him out of there, we'll say goodbye, say bye. There he goes, see ya mate. And off he goes. Come on in, Jacinta. She wants to see his little brim. See the little, little fella? <laughs> now, this is the part of the day Jacinta has been just praying for. To get into the water, have a bit of a wakeboard. Now, she's promised me no air, but a couple of little jumps. So we'll wait and see how she goes. So while she gets ready, we'll rattle off a few of the regulations. Person in the water must be wearing an approved PFD2 or an approved flotation wetsuit, and there must be an observer in the boat, and that's where Big Scotty comes in. You right? Hang on, doll, here we go! And she makes it look that easy. Now, we've got to take it nice and slow with Jacinta on the back, but we could get up to 45 knots if we wanted, thanks to the Suzuki 175 horsepower four-stroke. And if you wanted more grunt, the Seafarer can handle an outboard packing 225 horsepower. Hey, hey, she's pretty good. She's 11. Unreal. You reckon I'm ready to go? Why not? Because you have to have life jackets. Good call. Another good call is to stop into Charis Seafoods when it's all said and done. Right next to the boat ramp in front of the Grand Hotel at Labrador. It's a popular destination for families and right out the back the kids can kill a few hours in the lagoon. Now if you want more info on the seafarer then you can get in touch with the Haynes Group or say g'day to Hayden at Wild About Boats. That's it.